pH 12, surface water management, reticular canal system for sur surface water management. In this speech, we will discuss on body things for an injury response by healing. Respected leaders, senior citizens and dear friends, I am Dr. Shivu, pediatrician from Mysore, Karnataka State, India. My phone numbers are plus 91-944-877380, plus 91-789-250-1891. My mail is shivup.183 at gmail.com. Visit www.slideshare.net bar Dr. Shivu for my articles on our life, on this world and on environment. This is my 12th published speech. In this, we will talk about how injury happens to our body at cellular and tissue level and how to prevent this by establishing harmony with the environment. Injury to the living, that is both for animals and plants, can happen by physical or chemical or infectious or inflammatory or psychological for all those having mind or nervous tissue trauma. Healing, which happens as the response to the injury, makes that part of the body more stronger, which may be usually beneficial or sometimes harmful. The very much well seen injury and healing response in our body is that the physical trauma we get when we fall or a cut wound to the fingers happening while cutting fruits or vegetables. The body response and the healing begins by depositing more fibrous tissue at the site of injury and a scar is going to form at the site of the wound. Body thinks that part needs more support and strength. A clean cut cause injury to less cells and thus the scar formed will be smaller in size. A crush injury or a wound contaminated with unclean material or a wound developing infection causes injury to the more cells leads to bigger and stronger scar because the body fights against the infection, tries to push the unclean material out of the body and repairs the damaged cells with more fibrous tissue. Is there, if there is exaggerated response to the same injury, then there is the possibility of developing hypertrophic scar or a keloid. That is, the body responds to this type of physical trauma by forming the scar in the process of healing, thinking that that area needs more stronger tissue to protect the body from such physical trauma. But if such type of scar develops over the neck, chest or over the joints, then it can cause torticollis or a painful or restricted respiratory movements or a painful or restricted joint mobility. A strong alkali or an acid or a poison can cause chemical injury to the body. Viruses, bacteria, fungus, parasites can cause injuries to the body through infection infestations. Some of the toxins, coloring agents, dyes, infective agents, allergens, drugs can cause inflammation and injury to the body. A sudden loss in life of life importance can uh, cause a psychological shock. And the body tries to heal all such injuries by repair. A cut or a crush injury to the skin is visible macroscopically and the process of healing is also visible. We also come to know that the process of healing is fast and the scar formed will be mild if there is less cells involved in the process of injury or if there is no infection or if the cells are not crushed or if the tissue is not contaminated as in case of clean cut wound. These are about visible external injuries. 
if the injuries happen to the internal organs by some means like oral ingestion of some poisons or inhalation of some viruses which causes infection to the lung or oral ingestion of some toxin containing containing food where the toxin enters the circulation after absorption causing injury to the inner layers of the blood vessels endothelium of the liver kidney heart brain and that can lead to the injuries to the organs of the body alterations in the cells or tissue architecture happens during the process of injury and also in the process of healing and repair for example a lung infection can heal with pulmonary fibrosis can lead to respiratory failure endothelial injury to the coronary vessels heals with atherosclerosis can lead to myocardial infarction endothelial injury to the carotid vessels heals with atherosclerosis can lead to stroke so it is necessary to create the society in such a way where we are not going to get poisons harmful chemicals viruses bacteria fungus parasites toxins coloring agents dyes infective agents allergens unwanted drugs through the air we inhale water we drink water and milk we drink and food we eat also create a secure society where the sudden psychological stress through sudden loss should not arise and the community support given to handle such loss should be in such a way where it makes the scar in the mind mild with the present type of society agriculture living uh, achieving all these things and ensuring the continuity of the same is not at all possible how to achieve healthy life people has to live together with better houses with needed social distancing in a planned area for houses trees sanitary facilities natural lighting ventilation areas for recreation areas for incoming income generating jobs like space for agriculture industry health education administration to maintain all these systems and so on this is possible only by community cooperative universal organic agriculture with community cooperative agriculture related industries understanding the air water food education health administrative needs of the local people to achieve this we need to get and supply water to all the needy areas with a regular canal system convenient road system convenient railway track system model village model nation it is possible to decrease the incidence of both communicable and non communicable diseases air free from pollutants and microbes makes the lungs to provide good protection proportions of oxygen to all the cells of the body and there is less chances of lung, lung infection and inflammation thus there is decreased chances of injury or damage to the lungs and also there is decreased possibility of healing of the same lung injury or lesion with fibrosis or collapse and so on in the later life which is leading to chronic morbidity and early mortality good air is more compatible to the pulmonary ciliated epithelium or the cells of the lungs thus there is less chances of developing inflammation allergy asthma hyperreactivity airway diseases and so on good air makes the lungs to perform its function for long time as it gets less damage or injury and later healing with altered architecture developing allergy going for inflammation if the lungs are good even with advanced age then all the tissues of the body get good proportion of oxygen the carbon dioxide generated in the body will be excreted well by the lungs thus there is normal ph maintenance in the blood and in all the cells without uh, much burden on the buffer system and or on the kidney thus the process of aging gets delayed getting good air for breathing needs 
increasing the per capita availability of trees by not cutting the trees and growing more trees. Decreasing the usage of pollution causing vehicles, instruments, stoves, incinerators by decreasing the usage of the products where the manufacturing factories are producing more emission. By calculating and growing all the needy food items locally and uh, use them when they are fresh to decrease the transportation and thus make the air more compatible to the lungs. Water free from pollutants and microbes makes the gastrointestinal system to provide water to the body where there is less chances of infection, irritation, inflammation, allergy, maintains normal fluid and electrolyte balance in the body along with the other liquids, semi-solids, solid diet consumed. Thus there is decreased chances of injury or damage to the mucosa of the gastrointestinal tract through various water food borne infections like enteric fever or cholera or hepatitis and so on. The possibility of healing of the same injury or the lesion with altered epithelium or fibrosis with stricture formation, for example a typhoid ulcer in the ileum at the pace patches healing with fibrosis developing strictures going for intussusception and so on in the later life leading to malabsorption or gastrointestinal bleeding or chronic morbidity and early mortality decreases. Good water is more compatible to the gastrointestinal epithelium thus there is less chances of developing infection, inflammation, allergy, hypersensitivity, diseases and so on. Good water make the gastrointestinal system to perform its function for long time as it gets less damage or injury and later healing with altered architecture or developing allergy or going for inflammation. If the gastrointestinal system is good even with advanced age, then all the tissues of the body get the needed water and nutrients and the process of aging gets delayed. Getting good water for drinking and for domestic purpose to all the needy places where the people live as the people have already occupied most of the lands on this earth for their livelihood needs good management of surface water on the land before it reaches the sea and becomes salty. Underground water may not be good in terms of chemical quality. The surface water gets contaminated soon and their bacteriological quality may be poor if the volume of the surface water is less or if it is contaminated with the various ways. Effective management of the surface water is possible not only for drinking and domestic purpose but also for growing the food we eat and for various other purposes by reticular canal system. Nutritious food free from pollutants and microbes makes the body to grow well by providing good proportion of nutrients to all the cells of the body. There is less chances of foodborne infections or allergy. Thus there is decreased chances of injury or damage to the gastrointestinal system and also to the other parts of the body. For example, children getting the cow's milk or egg at right age will have less chances of developing milk protein allergy or egg protein allergy or going for gastrointestinal inflammation or allergy along with systemic inflammation like asthma or urticaria in later life. Good food is more compatible to the gastrointestinal tract and to the body thus there is less chances of developing infections, inflammation, allergy, asthma, hypersensitivity diseases, urticaria and so on. Good food makes the gastrointestinal tract in the body to perform its function for a long time as it gets less damage, injury and later healing with altered architecture developing allergy going for inflammation. If the body and GIT are good even with advanced age, then all the tissues of the body gets good proportion of nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, fats, minerals, vitamins. Thus the process of aging gets delayed. Getting good food for the body needs growing good food items in a poison free, pollution free soil. Preparing the soil bed with nutrient and microbiota rich organic manure but by not using, utilizing fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides. Maintaining hygiene from the time of growth of the plant to extraction of the food 
item to marketing to the final consumption not to use sewage or sewage water for growing food items and even for growing pasture hay grass for cows or domestic animals calculating the need of the community and growing them locally and supplying them when they are fresh makes the nutritive value and digestibility better thus there is more benefit not to use any ripening agents or hormones in agriculture or in food supply system is also needed make all the food that the humans consume including the animal products are for poison free by ensuring that the food uh, that the animal consumes are also poison free what food is needed for us people need to consume food rich in proteins example meat poultry fish eggs tofu legumes nuts nut butters seeds seed butters milk cheese cottage cheese soy beverages yogurt and so on people need to consume food rich in calcium for example milk cheese dairy foods green leafy vegetables broccoli cabbage okra soya beans tofu nuts bread and anything made with fortified flour people need to consume food rich in minerals like calcium phosphorus magnesium sodium potassium chloride and sulfur examples includes nuts dark leafy greens beans seeds selfish fish mushrooms whole grains low fat dairy beef and lamb whole grains avocados cheese dried fruits tofu food uh, people need to consume food rich in potassium like bananas cantaloupe raisins nuts fish and uh, spinach and other dark greens people need to consume food rich in magnesium like uh, spinach black beans peas and almonds people need to eat food rich in vitamins like vitamin a example includes eggs milk carrots sweet potatoes and cantaloupe vitamin c example includes oranges strawberries tomatoes kiwi broccoli red and green bell peppers food rich in vitamin a examples avocados nuts seeds whole grain foods and spinach other dark leafy greens vitamin b6 and b12 rich foods are uh, meat poultry fish seafood including mussels and oysters eggs milk vitamin d rich foods uh, are some seafood such as salmon herring catfish trout and oyster milk eggs shiitake mushrooms and exposure to sunlight people need to eat food rich in fibers like legumes dried beans and peas whole grain foods and brands seeds apples strawberries carrots raspberries and colorful fruits and vegetables in general they are available in fruits and vegetables like broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts leafy greens such as chard cabbage romaine and boy chop dark leafy greens such as spinach and kale squash carrots sweet potatoes turnips and pumpkins snap peas green beans bell peppers asparagus apples plum mangoes papaya pineapple bananas blueberries strawberries cherries pomegranates grapes citrus fruits such as grapefruits and oranges peaches pears melons tomatoes and uh, avocados grains and millets like uh, wheat oats rice corn maize barley rye ragi sorghum pearl millet fox tail millet and kodu millets pulses like uh, baked beans red green yellow and brown lentils black eyed peas garden peas runner beans chickpeas broad beans kidney beans butter beans and so on most of these food items can be made to grow around the model village in poison free state and freshly available for final consumption when once we complete the work of creating reticular canal system 
convenient road system, convenient railway track system, model village and model nation. It is better to become vegetarian to save planet earth. It is possible to get good nutritive values and vegetarian combinations having good protein content with all the essential amino acids with combinations like idli, vada, sambar. Please rem remember the strong vegetarian animals like horses and elephants. All the people becoming vegetarian when once we are able to grow the food article sufficient enough to meet the vegetarian diet of all the people makes the community living in model village and model nation is and all becoming vegetarian facilitates environmental protection, prevents global warming and climate changes. Non-vegetarian diet is more injurious to the environment than vegetarian diet. The animals that the non-vegetarian human population eat like hen, chicken, they depend on nuts, seeds, cereals, pulses present in the soil, which they are going to be the future plants if they are not disturbed. Hens can also be eating the worms which are useful for the soil for digesting dead leaves or convert it into organic manure. Thus the plants which protects the topsoil from rain and surface flow of water participates in the process of percolation by slowing down the speed of flow of surface water provides pockets for water for later percolation at their root roots acting like uh, bundings in protecting the topsoil will not be formed as a seed is the future plant or the tree which will be eaten up by the hen the goats, sheep and other such animals eats up all the leaves of the plants, especially the sprouting bud or shoot, that is the cyan, thus make the plant not to grow. Many animals used for non-vegetarian diet graze the grass and make the land bald. All these animals for animal farming makes the land to become bald, removes the protection that the plant gives on the topsoil, depletes the nutrition of the topsoil. Thus, most of the continents of the world are already became bald and prone for desertification like southern part of Asia, northern part of Africa, Australia, western parts of North America to the greater extent. The next phase of problem is the waste generated from the slaughterhouses. Usually around 50% of the body weight of the animal killed for food is not used as food and it is the waste which is also generating enormous greenhouse gases and various other pollutants. Eating non-vegetarian diet encourages these animal farming and these herd of animals participating in the process of desertification making the life on this earth to come to an end early. According to the University of Oxford study if everyone cuts meat and dairy from their uh, diet, they could be a 49% reduction in greenhouse gas emission from food production. This is from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations claims that the livestock is responsible for a roofing 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emission. Number two is 76% reduction in uh, land used for food production. It is 67% of deforestation for agriculture which causes carbon to be released into the atmosphere is driven by the need for the land for animal feed and pasture. A 49% reduction in eutrophication where nutrients from fertilizers run into lakes and rivers damaging ecosystem and uh, reducing biodiversity. A 19% reduction in freshwater withdrawals weighted by local water scarcity. Water production which uh, includes extraction, transportation and filtration is energy intensive. Our planet is heated up. By replacing meat with vegetarian sources of protein, 
like nuts, seeds, beans, lentils for example, we can reduce carbon and other greenhouse gases emission. The whole food production process of farm to plate totals 30% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. By eating vegetarian food for an year you could save the same amount of emission as taking a small family car off the road for 6 months. You might not be able to stop using your car in day to day life but you can choose to eat veggie food. The source is http://veroscos.org by info-hub by why-go-vegi by environment slash Food requirement planning from seed in the soil to food in the mouth it is possible to calculate the total food requirement of the community by multiplying the food requirement of an adult multiplied by population in different age groups with nutrition coefficient. The calorie requirement of women, children and males doing moderate and heavy work is expressed as relative to that of a sedentary man. One unit of coefficient corresponds to energy requirement relative to that of the sedentary man and one unit of coefficient corresponds to an energy requirement of 2400 kilocalories per day. By this it is possible to calculate food required for the entire community. This will be calculated by the nutritionist working in the hospital. The agriculture specialist will calculate the time period, area, water, soil, nutrients required to grow different food articles like vegetables, tubers, fruits, grains, legumes, oil, seeds, pasture for cows and so on. At least 30% of the total land available in one village panchayat association has to be utilized for cultivation of trees and it has to be left as it is without cutting. If the VPA has the capacity to grow more than their requirement, then it can assess the needs of the neighboring village panchayat association or neighboring cities and it can be grown and supplied to that item, that areas. The water to all these fields will be calculated by the irrigation engineer after discussing with the agriculture specialist and you will get that volume of water from the tertiary, secondary or primary channels of the reticular canal system. What we are going to achieve with the reticular canal system, convenient road system, convenient railway track system, model village and model nation. It is possible to have good sleep with good ventilation and optimum temperature even without air conditioning. Regular physical exercises under good guidance and monitoring if needed for all ages throughout the day. Good nutritious diet for all without any poisons which makes all the people stronger, sharper, taller with good perception, cognition, reciprocation skills. There will not be any scope for illegal activity like cultivating ganja, like plants or uh, smuggling or stealing or cheating and so on. Clean air water food makes the body not to get injuries and thus the process of aging gets delayed. There will not be any possibility of loss to an individual. People need not invest money directly into the village panchayat association but they have to invest their efforts, love, skill, work for a village panchayat association to get more income for themselves. Education and health can be made free so that the people will not have an unexpected sudden expenses. Marriages becomes income generating as both the families of the boy and girl start living in one house and they can sell the small house which is going to become an extra for them. Most of the non-communicable diseases are also going to decrease as there is inhalation of pure air where the possibility of allergy is going to decrease. 
water and food becomes free from toxins and poisons thus there is less damage the blood vessels of the brain heart liver pancreas kidney and so on making the incidence of strokes palsy infarction cirrhosis diabetes renal failure cancers to decrease regular sleep regular physical activity nutritious diet no economic losses makes the incidence of hypertension and its related diseases to decrease the entire environment gets a new energy as there is less utilization of land in the name of construction of the buildings and roads more trees growing less vehicles moving and thus less emission good air water food for the entire flora and fauna the trust strength low increases as there is less confusion no economic loss and more transparency in life of all trust and strength in opinions between the people making the love to, to develop among themselves the relationship applies to all all the categories of people like husband and wife teacher and students leader and people and so on let us look into an example like the relation between husband and wife wherein the strength is like the foundation stone trust is like the cementing between the foundation stones over which the love develops as the frame and then the roof and this love becomes functional with the units like windows doors plumbing electrical unit units and gets the fine finish with sliding gutter sofa drywall paint interior carpentry flooring and all if the foundation stones are not strong or if one stone is strong and another one is weak that is if there are no good opinions among husband and wife or if there is difference of opinions among husband and wife or if the cementing is not good that is the trust among them is not good then the good looking building that is the love collapses at any time it manifests in the way like crack in the roof or in the wall that is the break in the minds of the people malfunctioning of the house like damage to the plumbing or electrical units manifesting like no cooking no talking and so on or there may be complete collapse of the building that is the divorce can happen reticular canal system convenient road system convenient railway track system model village model nation makes the community living more peaceful and enforces trust and strength in opinions among the people and builds love in the community as there is less confusion and more transparency in the community and this construction needs the supply of water for its uh, creation and functioning rcs is able to supply this required water thank you for listening to my 12th speech i think uh, you got an idea on how injuries to the body happens and how it responds and how it becomes easy for us to prevent these injuries if we unite and achieve the goal of establishing reticular canal system convenient road system convenient railway track system model village model nation i think most of you have gone through my 12th speech related to the environment before going to the irrigation related subjects let us understand the beautiful arrangements made by mother earth in nurturing the entire flora and fauna and our power of withstanding the pain by the damage caused by the humans in the next talk that is in my 13th speech if you like this then you please subscribe my channel and share with your friends relatives and family members till it reaches all the leaders of this world to take necessary measures so that this world remains at its as it is for an n number of years thanks once again